that last episode was eventful. Welcome back to the hey, it's Fluffykins here. Welcome back to Test Squid. Um, yeah, here we should jump into it. Fluffykins, I want to ask you for one last favor. Sure, what do you want me to do? I'm not liking the sounds of one last favor. I would like to ask you to tell Michael that you're coming to the Grimwalk on, and you're on your way to the Grimwalk, of course. I should be the one going to the mine rather than you. You have to pull yourself, you, you have put yourself in danger for long enough. Aww. Listening to Michael's demands would be suicide. You don't know that. How long do you think it would take for you to reach Deskwood? Where even is Deskwood? It's very far. <laughs> Jake and his smiley faces. Hen and Ricky are alive and are both in the in this plane term mine. I can almost pinpoint their exact location. I cannot say how long this will be the case, but I know that we only have this one chance. Yeah, you're right. But that doesn't make the situation any better. I'm going to set off now. I don't have enough money for that. I wish I did. Okay. Please let me know when you get there. I am not liking this. I have been thinking. I'm going, I'm going to accept your offer. Let's finish this. So dramatic. What? I have many games already. I just, I just completed them. I hate, hate these mini games. Fluffykins. I've reached the inner splinter mine. Be precise, I'm already inside. What? How? Very good, Jake. Do not worry if I suddenly go offline. The reception is very unreliable. Thank you for the warning. I can just kind of imagine what Jake's doing right now. During my research, I found quite a bit about this inner splinter mine. Like he's walking and texting. Dangerous! You've done a lot of research, haven't you? I wanted to come prepared. I believe Michael must have had a reason to hide in the inner splinter mine of all places. And I think I found the reason. Because it's ex extensive, it's huge. Correct. As I said, the inner splinter mine has a total length of more than 60 miles or 90 kilometers. As we figured out through Google. The main entrance is in Trenderdale. Trendale. 
has since been turned into a museum, including a part of the tunnels that have been made accessible for visitors. However, most of the tunnels behind that are blocked off in dangerous in the danger of collapsing. Hmm. So Jake can't get through there. I would estimate that Michael has about 30 miles of tunnel at his disposal. What is what if he's been hiding down there from the beginning? Then we must assume that he knows his way, way, his way around here quite well. I have reached the shaft. Oh, please be careful, Jake. <laughs> mm, this is suspenseful and tense. According to my research, the ladder in the shaft go down for about 200 feet. That's a lot? In any case of the ladder... In case any of the ladders are damaged or missing, my plan will have failed. You have been keeping that detail from me on purpose. You already had enough reasons to dislike my plan. Yeah, I'd rather go instead. I'm going to need both hands for this part. Please be careful. Of course. All right. I'll put my phone away now. As soon as I have reached the bottom, I will let you know. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, I might as well look at Jake's profile for a bit. Nothing new. Alan's recording. Might as well check. Oh, maybe that's what that is. Um. Are you okay? Let's check the cameras. Nope. That doesn't seem live at all. Seems like pre-recorded nonsense. That is edited to look live. YouTubers do that all the time, like when they're live streaming, but they're actually not live. I've seen it. Oh my gosh, what is taking him so long? Is he dead already? Did Jake just fall to his death? Or his phone fall out of his pocket? I hope just his phone fell, but then he wouldn't be able to contact us again. Jake? Don't do this to me, Duskwood. They really know how to make a game tense, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, I hate this. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I've reached the bottom. I was about to sound the alarm. Not necessary. Thankfully, the ladders were relatively st stable. However, they m my, they have been exposed to constant moisture from years and are quite rusty. Ew, I hate rust. <laughs> this is why I am unsure whether I could easily consider them for return, the return journey, especially if there's three of you. In 1899, okay, that's a long, 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 long time ago, while the mine was in service, there was a large explosion down here that caused, cause of which were never found. That sounds horrible. Yeah, it must have been. Why is Jake telling me this? 
On that day, about a thousand people were located in the mine's tunnels. Oh no. 800 of them died. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's a lot of people. I'm glad this game is just fiction, because that's horrible. The inhabitants of Tenderdale attributed the disaster to something supernatural. Most of the workers who survived refused to enter the mines from then on. Was the mine closed after that? Well, 300 people didn't want to go back after the place exploded. I wouldn't. As I said, man, many of the shafts and tunnels are in danger of collapsing. But whether they stopped operating the mine entirely... I'm unable to find the answer to that question. I would assume not. I would assume it was still in... Whatever. Anyway, the catastrophic is the reason for the mine being largely inaccessible nowadays. Today, the mines use these use these old ghost stories as advertisements. Apparently, the call of the deceased workers can still be echoed through the mine. That's bound to lure in some tourists. Of course. One of the highest levels, I could hear the wind howling. And I must admit that it sounded eerie, similar to a call. <laughs> I see. Hmm. Strange. What? According to my map, I should be at the fork of the path. But it's a dead end. As a kid, I always thought a fork in the road meant literally a fork in the road, but I think it means there's three intersections or something. Am I too much of a distraction? No. That's not the issue. That's nice to know. <laughs> The map is wrong. I r realized early on that tunnels and paths differ from those depicted on the map. Uh-oh. Cake. This isn't good. But I thought it was too much of an issue if I stuck to the path I planned out. Are you lost? We will find out very soon. Jake. One moment. <clears throat> I'm going back. I'm going to go back a bit. Well, this is just great. Michael will realize at some point that I'm not coming. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Is there a way, any way I can help you? Wait a moment. Fine. There's something in here. Uh-oh. What is it? I have reached a strange room. It sounds like I got an email. Can't check that right now. There are countless documents and files here. Are those from the Michael house? There must be hundreds. I have to look at this. Okay, hurry up. Please excuse my late reply, Flavikins. I took a look. At the video, I took your video straight to Bob from our legal department. He immediately recognized the inner splinter mine. 
The Inner Splitter Mine. Iron Splitter Mine. One second, I gotta check that email. Then we'll continue. I did not mean to end that recording. Oops. <laughs> you should know, Bob is avid mountaineer and cave enthusiast, and apparently there is not a single wall in this whole area that he does not know, like the back of his hand. A little obsessive there, Bob. <laughs> it's a little obsessive. According to him, there's even an old secret entrance in Duskwood to that mine in the form of a hatch. And guess where that hatch is located? By the Grimrock, why the Grimrock waterfall? By the Grimrock waterfall. Told you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Excellent job you did there. Am I being sarcastic? I think I am. Your praise should be directed at Bob. What I want to say is. You were right about the Grimrock. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> Even though you were on the wrong floor. Please excuse my little joke. I'm actually really excited. You see, I'm actually I'm currently back on the way to the Grimrock. Uh oh. That's good to know. I knew you'd be interested. But Jake is there. That's not good. Now, please excuse me. It's time to clear up this case. This isn't good. Dang it. Alan knows about the incident in her mind. He knows, and he's on his way to you right now. You should get out of there as soon as you can. And Jake's not going to answer. Of course. Of course. This isn't good. Fluffy hens. I think the reception was gone for a moment. I have to tell you something. All these documents. They're the documents we found in Michael Hansen's house. Thought so. Wait, really? Alan told me that Hansen house was empty. So that's where Michael brought everything. Did you see my messages from earlier? Alan is on his way to the mine. This is not, that is not good. No, it is not. I am not liking the way the story is going. I really don't want Jake to get caught. This is not good. Does he know about the Grimlock entrance? Yes, he does. Very good. What? Why is that good? That is not good, Jake. That means he will enter the mine from the Grimrock and find himself in the western part first. Okay. Which gives me some time. That's good. If Michael sees Alan... Michael will think I told Alan about him. Yes, I'm afraid you are correct. But I cannot leave yet. This is too important. What is that? Why is my phone going bing bong all the time? One second. Listen to me, Fluffykins. I found a letter. Not important. The letter's important, not the notification. I found the letter. The letter that Amy could not find. The letter that Alan could not find in Amy's apartment. What does it say? I guess it's reader le re letter reading time. Jake was going to say something and then he decided not to. I think you should read it. One moment. 
I will take a picture of the letter for you. Okay, let's go, Jay. Come on. Jake? I cannot do it. You can't take a simple picture. Guess it's dark or something. Wouldn't be easy, hard to read. The lighting conditions are too bad. You'll need, you won't be able to read its contents. I get that. Please keep trying. I understand. I'll try scanning the contents with my smartphone. Okay. Yes, good idea. I'm out of lime soda. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay, let's start. Hannah, I'm sorry just for saying goodbye to you like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Okay. I'm going to pause. Because I'm sort of a slow reader. Hannah, I'm sorry for saying goodbye to you like this. But I cannot go. Not one step further. I have... I have succumbed to the pressure and long time ago. Don't judge me too harshly for choosing this way out. I cannot forgive myself. If I'm being honest, I never allowed myself to forget because that would have meant that I had stopped forgetting. I can't I can feel his judging eyes laying upon me as he stare and stands by the edge of the forest so dark and silent. He is nothing more than a shadow, but he does not disappear when I turn out the light. Could have been nothing more than a manifestation of our guilt, created by and formed by our thoughts, our eyes playing tricks on us in the dark. But can the same be said? Of, can the same be said about the tormented mind? No matter how far we walk, we always end up with ourselves. My mom once said that I never understood what it meant by. It, but now I do. I want you to try to find peace, and I want you to know that you couldn't have changed anything. So I hope that things will be different for you, and that you find a way to be able to live with the past. Ooh, make, make peace with yourself, so that in the end, he may disappear. Amy. Huh. I am not liking the way this letter's sounding. Okay. Well, Jake, this letter is fake? I don't think so. No, there's nothing to indicate that. I mispressed that by accident. Fluffykins? I think I know what happened. Yeah, unfortunately. I don't want to say that, but Michael didn't kill her. What? Are you absolutely sure? I am. I am pretty surprised, to be honest. I'm, well, after reading the letter, I'm not. But before the letter, yeah, I'm very surprised. That makes two of us. Do you understand what Amy... Do you understand why Amy did it? Yeah, I do. She was feeling too guilty. That's what her words are telling me. Yes. That's the best option in the game, I think, to answer. It seems so. Poor Amy. Jake better get his little self out of there. Alan's on his way. Up until now, we believe that this was the only Hannah who saw the man without a face, but Amy does too, I guess. I can't wait to get a new phone. This phone. 
uh, it's garbage. It needs to charge all the time. Until now, we believe... Oh, I already read that. Through this letter, we now confirm... We found out something completely different. Amy also saw the man without a face. The man by the edge of the forest. This is very strange. The man without a face stole the letter, clearly. That it is. Amy seemed to be not sure until the end whatever. He was only a figment of her imagination or reality. We have to find out the truth. It's not too late for Hannah. But why would Michael take this letter? Maybe he feared the letter would incriminate him? Somehow? After all, he must have held it in his hands as he read it. True fingerprints and all? So his fingerprints would be on the lip paper. Yeah, that's possible. I'm not sure if you could get your fingerprints on a piece of paper, unless you have, like, ink or something. But I don't know. Another possibility is that Michael took this letter for the information inside it. He wasn't mentioned in the letter, after all. I don't like this option, but I have to say. The letter could have just been written by Hannah. Objectively, I mean. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> oh, this talking makes me thirsty. I can't imagine that the incident ten years ago left Hannah with the same deep wounds. Totally can see that. Even if they both ultimately dealt with them in different ways. I can hear something. Uh-oh. I think it's Alan. Hannah and Ricky? I don't know. I don't like this. And he goes offline. Drake. Oh no. <laughs> well, anytime it's gaming time, tonight's gaming time. Tonight's gaming. Signing out. Bye, guys.